Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where we have we have some chit chatting to do before we get going. Go away. The envoy to the female class uh, doesn't have yeah. to listen to aliens. I think we can Don't crowd the ambassador. Turn back, <laughs> human. I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. Don't think that carrying this whelp of a Krogan makes you worth my time. Leave now before my guards decide to reject you. I think it's different after we do the right, but... You seem like a well-traveled Krogan ambassador. I am. Then you must know who I am. And you have to be aware that bad things happen to those who oppose me. Oh, jeez. Stand down, men. I'm starting to like this human. I am the ambassador to Erdnok from Clan Nakmor. We're a small clan based in the Kratic Wastes. If Nakmor is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmor Kral, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. I think that's part of the problem, and I don't know when they go into it at some point, but that some clans seem to cling to this, like, memory of, like, their ancestors as being powerful, so that they are powerful too, which works to some extent. But in the Krogan, like, lifestyle, where, like, actual strength is, like, valued very highly, uh, it seems like that wouldn't last for too terribly long, like, if you try to ride the coattails of your, like, great ancestors, you know? What business does Clan Nakmor have with the Erdnot? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and Clan Nakmor have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Erdnot could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka. And we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become an ambassador? <sighs> You don't know as much as you think, human. A Krogan diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. I slaughtered my way to the top of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a war. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I should go. I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. Indeed, indeed. Off we go. I've had enough of you. Then let's end. The Citadel has these huge arms. Millions of people live there. Why do you care so much? You gonna leave the Chunker? Run off with the damn blood pack mercs? No. No, no. <laughs> no <shot. laughs> you shot about what you'll <laughs> Like that second note. No, 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 of course not. One of the children, probably five years from the right. And the eyes are Huh. Think you actually had a fertile female on one of your trips to their camp? I... I must have. A son? Good for you. We'll get a ring call to celebrate. That's the thing, I think, is a lot of them don't potentially know, like, know their whole heritage. You don't want anything I sell you. It'll tear your insides like you swallowed knives. <laughs> Good Baron. We're friendly. <laughs> Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are an Erdnot. Except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Ring Call's a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. He's not joking. Ring Call hits aliens like ground glass. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal. Which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a hijack? <laughs> Off-world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. <coughs> <coughs> 
feels like a waste of ammo. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population, and you get a discount. Good luck with that. I should go. It's not that yourself. hard. Let's do it the OD. <gasps> oh yeah, I definitely want. What? What? <laughs> I love this pistol. I'm pretty sure it's the pistol I like. I am not one of those people that has like 100% memorized every great thing. I know the Widow is the best sniper rifle. What a supportive friend. And they went back to the female camp. It was so fast. They didn't get to talk about it. What a supportive friend. This is a betting ring. I will not be participating because I don't care. Watch it, human. Everybody mm -hmm. is so mean to me. Wait, here. At first, I thought it was a waste of ammunition just to kill incoming vermin. Now, I think if these Erdnot can pinpoint such small mammals with these guns, they'll make short work of an incoming oh, invasion. Oh, I guess it would be nice, like, uh, like, targeting, targeting software practice, you know? So you can, like, uh, what is it, like, um, fine-tune it. What do you want, human? Rex told me to be polite. He didn't say you were going to talk to me. So you're in charge of Erdnot scouts. Why waste your time shooting at vermin? Ammunition is the one thing we're not hurting for on Tachanka. As scout commander, I have to set an example. Plus, the little bastards get into food supplies if their numbers get too high. Can't have that. Invasive species. You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Farron here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans, but I still have to patrol, keep them honest. What does the scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide and seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. That's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. <laughs> everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. So every clan on Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? Borders? This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. We are what we are, human. If we didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin, and if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If it's women and children are killed, a clan's hope for the future is lost. Falls How short-sighted. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. Like, the Krogan are dying. Children and fertile women are like hard to come by. And you're just gonna, you're just gonna wipe them out. <laughs> like, as a solution, maybe a very, very short-term solution, very short, you know, sided solution. Sure, you win the fight, but like, you're not winning the, the, the genetics war there, you know. Taking care of your food supply would help more in the long run. If Clan Jordan kills our guards and helps itself to our well-secured food, there won't be a long term. This is Tachanka. Having power and clean water means we're living in luxury. Hey, right, hey. Right. Thanks for the information. Whatever. Look at him run. Ah. Oh, I'm not good at this. I don't like doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why did that work? <laughs> Is 
good thing the area of, a t of attack is really high. Oh my gosh, why? Okay, for real, this is extremely wide. The splash damage is uh, more than sufficient. Kind of a dinky sounding weapon, honestly. Sounds like you're you're firing like a potato launcher. Wait a Moves pretty slow. This is like the little tiny turret defense section that they managed to include. Or was it tower defense? Yeah. Or turret sort of turret mode. No, not even a turret. It's more of a tower defense thing. Yay. I think only one of them got through. What do you want, human? Rex told me to be polite. We'll he talk, to, talk to you later. We'll talk to him later once we have Morden. About ahead. the warrior. Give me a reason. Uh, let's do this later. Step back. My we'll go over there once we have Morden too. For now, I want to go do the right. You're in this camp, where the power doesn't work half the time. And Pyjax and Baird and other clans are always trying to Pijaks kill us. Pyjax aren't trying to kill you. I get a why? Because I don't look at that damn extra net. Who cares what human colonies are getting attacked? Who cares who's declaring war? This camp, these rocks, this is all we're ever going to see. This is real. So damn Go so live sun. your dreams. Stare at either of them for too long. Go blind. Live your dreams, man. You see that special they had on the extra? That crap. I'll never back down. Okay. Are you, are you ready to begin the rite of passage? Be warned. Once it is started. We're ready to begin. Excellent. Oh look, yeah, out we go. Okay, who do we want to bring? You know what, Zaid would actually be really great to bring on this. Hmm, yeah. And it would be so funny to bring Zaid, like, the quips you would probably get, like if he could actually do little quips for like a... <laughs> Uh, rite of passage puberty thing <laughs> would be freaking hilarious. Let's see. Oh yeah, now we have his his super special because we have his loyalty. Oh man, I freaking forgot. <laughs> I forgot to go use my discount. I'm an idiot. I was too excited. So they had the level of technology about to like what we have like current modern humans in the real world to have I think. Well, they did. Until they split the atom and destroyed everything. This is Tachanka's most recent scar. The last surface city to fall in the rebellions. The keystone was at the heart. It has survived wars and the passage of centuries. It endures. Like the Krogan. If you wish to join Clan Erdnot, you must contemplate the Keystone and its trials. What will happen? Who knows? You must adapt. You must thrive no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will. 
Indeed. Well. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. First the Krogan conquered Tuchanka, and mastered a natural world only we are fit to hold. Oh, I need to use mouse and keyboard for this. Hmm. For now, we should be fine. Ooh. Take it. Oh, oh yes. I need your. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Try to run with. I actually. I want to switch that. I'm gonna change. Shift. Out. To. Run. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, because it's the use button, and I would feel I would get weird about you having the use button as sh shift. Yeah, you 100% can. Oopsie. I'm trying to sprint. Shift. That's not right. I don't know about... Oh, we do need power cell. Okay. Think we need? Nope, we don't need any med kits yet. Then the Krogan were lifted to the stars to destroy the fears of a galaxy, an enemy only we could chase to their lair. <laughs> oh, I need to do that later. Oh, Jesus! Hostiles! I can't. I can't fight you if you don't win. Can't get along. Oh, 
Um, we haven't met them yet, but these actually do exist on a planet. Oh, I'm on cooldown. Uh -huh. They just really take a hit, don't they? Oh, I forget they do that. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. It's very fine. No worries. I changed it so that they can. I clicked on the other one, but apparently not. Well, that's cool. That's fine. Whatever. I'm sure. Tried to click the right one. I did not. Did you see that? Pressure your mall. It is a fight where the only goal is survival. Feel that? Everything is shaking. I should have changed my weapon. Should not be using this one. We got company. Please tell me I don't have to hit. I'm pretty sure I don't have to hit those. Oh, hates the bug again. Yeah, there she is. How nice, how cool, how good. This is just really right. Oh, this is the worst. I don't think there's any more. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I've lost shields.
There's a special achievement for getting, um, for actually killing the Thresher Maw, not just surviving. There we go. Whew. Yay, Thresher Maw. Dang it. Company. Oh, that's right. Good. I want more. The guy who was peeved at us. You live, and you brought down the Thresher Maw. Thresher Maw. No one has done that in generations. Word not Rex was the last. My crant gave me strength beyond my genes, which are damn mm -hmm. good. This will cause discussion. I wonder. You say you are pure. No alien meddling in your construction. Just the warlord of Kier. The best Krogan traits are distilled into Grunt. He's designed to be perfect. Being designed is the problem. But not made by aliens. And he is truly powerful. That is a tolerable loophole. A what? A reason to accept you. You are a mistake, but your potential could tip this the is, current balance of the This plan. is not how you woo somebody. You spit on my father's name, on Shepard's name, but now you stop ranting because I'm strong. With restrictions, you could not breed, of course, or serve on an alien ship, but you'd be clan in name. Yeah, that's not, that's not how you... So, Erdnot Rex is offering, like, all of this with no strings attached, and this guy is like, hey... Let me treat you like dirt, but you can still be in my clan. How exciting for you. You talk like he's a thing. You're after his power. You don't really want him in your clan. Of course not. I didn't really want to cooperate with Clan Erdnot either, but I had to. Clan Gatatog is on the verge, either of greatness or of joining the Sounds dust. Sounds like it's the dust for you. I traditional support if I fight you, and reformer support if I back you. Your right of passage tip that balance too. It's your choice, Grunt. Sounds like an easy job. That's the problem. I'm pure Krogan. Ulvik, you were the pretender. Your head is valuable whether you're alive or dead. Just try to take it. That's my boy! <laughs> I got 15 renegade from that. How would I get Ren? Legitimately, I didn't. I only picked Paragon on that. What? This whole thing. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, it's fine. Time to die. Oh, where am I? I want to switch. charge too. Can't reach the target. Oh yes you can. Getting up close. Oh, Ow. Oh jeez. Um. Oh jeez.
Ulvik is meat. Let's signal at the Keystone to get out of here and leave him to rot. Oh my goodness gracious, don't... <laughs> Realize that they were all—they all had white armor and Erdnuts, or like Rex's clan. I don't know if I've ever noticed that. Oh my gosh, why is it doing this? The passage, earning the honor of clan and name. Many survive, but it has been years since a Thresher Maw fell. Your names shall live in glory. Run, you are Erdnut. You may now own property. Join the army and apply to serve under a battle master. Shepard is my battle master. She has no Truly. match. Truly. Understood. He's a good boy. Congratulations, or not Grunt. Accept this token from Fortak. His weapons are the finest we have. I mean, I think he'd do well under Rex, but he's attached to me, so it's uh, <laughs> I'll raise him well. What were you called before you became shaman? I gave up my name when I became the shaman. I am a conduit for the rage and bloodlust of my people. It would be wrong to retain my old identity. My life belongs to the clan. I want to know about Tuchanka's past. Tuchanka is a place of great gifts. It kills the weak, torments the slow, and destroys the stupid. Survival is an honor, and here, Krogan thrives. We cover this planet with our civilization, only to burn it to the ground a dozen times over. Each time, we grow stronger. When we are wise and powerful enough, we will tame the planet forever. I've never heard anyone say that wiping out their own civilization was a good thing. I'd have thought you of all aliens would understand, Shepard. The Krogan empires and clans of the past were glorious. Built in great battles and conquests, but their cores were weak. How else could they have fallen? When Krogan civilization achieves its apex, there will be no stopping it. No stopping us. Tell me about Krogan rites and ceremonies. You have seen the rite of passage. Krogan suffer the rite of life at birth, and the rite of honor when they wish to be considered for breeding. The right of firsts is suffered before a Krogan faces a new enemy. A clan leader also undergoes many rites in service to the clan. What rites did you go through to become Chief Shaman? Becoming the Shaman is excruciating. I passed through rites that made me wish to die. I carry the scars on my soul. I must perform rites each dawn and dusk to keep me bound into our Krogan nature. Our spirit is one of violence and death. I must be attuned to that. Your job is awful. <laughs> Indeed. It is a burden. I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. I'll take it. I'll take it. You should be emotionally stable. Any regarding Klogan clan politics will be useful. Grunt power, grunt new outfit. He gets the Erdnot armor. Okay. Congratulations, well, like young man, not a boy, young man. Um, I'm gonna call it here. Hopefully, this episode isn't too long. But thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially my satellite tier patron, Reese Galito. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Honestly, thank you so much. And thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.